You're watching Let's Chat. Here we have a bow. Here we have an arrow. Here we have somebody who wants to shoot a bow and arrow, but we have to do it the right way, the proper way, and the safe way. And the way to do that is to spend a few moments with Maria Saban, who is the TSU Extension Agent. First of all, Maria, good to see you. You were here talking about 4-H and archery. Tell us the importance that one has to the other. 4-H has an archery club and an archery program each year, and we're having registration right now of kids in Grades 4 through 12th in Hamilton County can be in the 4-H archery program and either learn the basics of archery or else practice and improve their skills. Tell me about the experience with archery that these young folks need to have before they sign up or do they need to have any at all? They don't have to have any experience at all. We have kids who've never picked up a bow and we teach them the basics. It's, it's really a great program to get started in archery. What about the equipment? The bows and the arrows, certainly these can add up to a lot of money and a lot of families can't afford that. Right, we have club bows. These are some of the ones that I brought with me mm -hmm. and the, the students are welcome to use these in the fall. We ask them to uh, get their own bow by the spring so that they can go to competitions. But um, these bows um, with the outfitting and the arrows probably be a little less than 200. Wow. So we do have club bows. And if you take proper care of your bows and arrows, they can last indefinitely. Absolutely. They really can. What do you hear from students who have gone through the 4-H program? What, how are they different as students? How are they different as young adults when they enter the program as opposed to when they come out? We find that it's a great way for students to learn life skills. And in 4-H archery, we don't just focus on archery. We also focus on uh, the whole student and helping them learn to focus on achieving goals. We do find that the students are better at achieving their goals. Setting and achieving goals is one of the things they learn in 4-H. And of course, being a member of a team of any sort of organized event, that's got to help them become better young adults and in turn better adult adults, right? Absolutely. They learn how to work in it, uh, as a member of a team. They learn leadership skills. It's a great program. What got you started? What piqued your interest in archery however long ago? My son wanted to try archery when he was in seventh grade mm -hmm. and we looked around Chattanooga at that time. There was not any program. I spoke with Nancy Rucker, the director of the UTTSU Extension, right. and we started the 4-H archery program then. So this will be the 10th year for that program. Wow. All right. Uh, we only have a minute or two left, so I want to go over here and see what we can do as far as bows and arrows are concerned. Hopefully our bosses at the other end, or my bosses in the other end of the building are doing something else. So <laughs> ideally, how far out should you be from your target? When you're just starting, we talk about the distance to mm -hmm. achieve success. Right, so come on over here and stand by me so the six camera or seven can get a good meters. picture. Seven meters, all right. And you said I was holding this upside down a moment ago. Right. So I'm gonna do, is the that right? The cable guard actually goes down below your So am I still arm. holding it upside down? You are. <laughs> all right, so we'll go like this, correct? Right, that's it, yes. All right. And we're going to um, fasten the arrow. It has an index fletching which will be pointing away from the bow. Right. And you put it on the string and pull it back until it clicks. Now are you supposed to put it on the collar down here or just above it? Right below that white right knocking below it. point. Okay. Yeah. And what about this little piece of the guard here? That Step is Step back the, just a moment so the camera can see what we're doing here. That is da, da, da. the arrow rest. Got and it. And it actually goes up goes on, on the on arrow that. rest. Okay. Yeah. All right. So like this. So I'm going to let you go first. All right. All right. You're going to hold You got to have good posture for this obviously. Absolutely. Right? That's one thing that kids improve their posture during archery. Are you supposed to keep your left arm ramrod straight or just however it's a little bit of a curve at the elbow helps okay. to keep from having so much string slap all right we have kids do three fingers right pull back to the corner of their smile right aim and whoa <laughs> back to the corner okay. of the smile i've never heard that before so these three fingers like right here yes is that right mm -hmm. it feels unnatural to not have one up it's, there but it's okay all right safer so am I, am I like sort of in the right place here? Right on there. All right, you're gonna wanna have your hand on the grip and below the arrow. On the grip and below the arrow. Yeah, you don't wanna hold on to the arrow with your hand. I don't, you're supposed to do it. You put your finger down below. Down below. That's right. it, yeah. 
Right. You know, there's people at home thinking he's going to make such a <laughs> fool of himself out on this. All right, give us the uh, website for more information about how we can find out about the 4-H archery program. It's right there on your screen. It is hamilton.tennessee.edu. Maria, thanks so much. Are you ready? Are you ready? Up on the arrow. Up on, there. right up there. Okay. There we go. All right, okay. are you ready? Great. Put your, put your finger down. Put my finger, finger down here. That's okay. Good. All right. Pull They're giving us like a less than 10 smile. second countdown. I don't know okay. if I'm going to shoot this. Or, oh, yeah, we might as well. Bam! There we go. We'll see you back here at <laughs> noon.